When you talk about uh, Amazon's delivery fleet, why wouldn't we go electric? And we thought if we took Amazon's package delivery know-how and Rivian's vehicle expertise, and we worked backwards from the needs of the driver, what could we do? Tesla already has a pickup truck, two sedans, two SUVs, a semi-truck, and a sports car. These are a lot of different markets, but because the company's goal is to accelerate the transition to sustainable energies, Tesla must enter all of the largest vehicle sectors, including commercial vans. As consumers, the size of the commercial van sector may not seem very large. However, the size of this market is actually humongous. The global commercial vehicle market share in 2017 was $1.32 trillion and it just happens that the majority of this market share is light commercial vehicles. These light commercial vehicles include pickup trucks, three-wheeled vehicles, but more importantly, vans. These vans make up the majority of the light commercial vehicle market share, and the market is only continuing to expand as the years pass by. The global light commercial vehicle market is expanding at a current annual growth rate of 7.1%. The market share for vans is worth up to $1 trillion. To put this into comparison to the pickup truck market, the global pickup truck market is only $166 billion, owning a fraction of what the market size is for light commercial vehicles. In this video, I am going to discuss why I believe Tesla will soon release a commercial van and show you the evidence that backs this up. Tesla's goal has always been to accelerate the world to sustainable energies, and without a commercial van, the company won't be able to accelerate the transition at a fast pace. In the Cybertruck reveal, Elon Musk analyzed the pickup truck industry and stated that there hasn't been much innovation and there aren't many electric pickup trucks. It's actually hard to tell, it's hard to tell which, uh, which is which, really. Um, I took the brands off, we took the brands off, but uh, it's hard to tell which is, which is which with the brands off. They'll, they'll pretty much look the same. We need something different. And we, and we need we need sustainable energy now. If we if we don't if we don't have a pickup truck, we can't solve it. But, uh, the, the number one selling truck a vehicle in America, top three uh, selling vehicles in America are pickup trucks. We have to if to solve sustainable energy, we have to have a pickup truck. So I present to you the cyber truck. The commercial van market is extremely similar to the pickup truck market. There hasn't been much innovation and the size of the market is ginormous. This was evident when Amazon ordered 100,000 Rivian delivery vans when the product didn't even exist yet. Take a look at what shopping for a used light commercial vehicle looks like. The light commercial vehicles look almost identical, despite totally different brand names. The opportunity here is massive and Elon Musk knows this. In early January, Elon Musk revealed his plan to create a vehicle in China. Musk opened up a Chinese design center and revealed a sketch of a compact vehicle. He then began to talk about how the design center would be dedicated to designing this new vehicle. Something that would be, I think, super cool would be to, and so we're going to do it, uh, I mean, we're going to try to do it, is uh, to create a, um, a China design and engineering center to actually design a, a, an original car in China for worldwide consumption. I think this will be very exciting. Um, I think China has some of the best art in the world. Uh, and if, like, and, and I think it's something that, that would be appreciated on a, on a worldwide basis. And I think it sh should be done. And we're going to do it. Um, you know, try, try something just like kind of radical, you know, like Cybertruck, you know. <laughs> Nobody was expecting that, you know. And that's, uh, it's so we'll just, I think we should try to do something just like, you know, like just cool and different and something the world hasn't seen before. Uh, but like that really moves their heart, you know, it gets you right there. And that's, that's the kind of product that you want. We wish there were more of those things in the world. All right, that's what we're going to do. Just two weeks later, Elon Musk decided that Tesla would also open two design centers, with one in the US and the other in Europe. 
These just happen to be two of the largest markets for commercial vans. We know that design centers are built for the purpose of creating a new vehicle, and we also know that the commercial van is the last major sector that needs disruption. Given this, it seems likely that Tesla will unveil a new commercial van, but what can we expect out of this vehicle? With the overwhelming success of the Cybertruck, it's safe to say that Tesla's design will totally blow your mind. While we don't know anything about the design, we can estimate the specs and pricing somewhat accurately as long as we look from a business perspective. In order to sell well, Tesla's new commercial van must have three key criteria. It must be cheap to reduce and therefore cheap to sell, energy efficient, and compete with pricing. First, let's start with cheap production costs. While it is ideal to bring the cost to the lowest it can be, the commercial vans in general are priced at a premium. For example, the Mercedes Sprinter goes for $56,000 and the Ford Transit goes for $52,000. Given this, the Tesla commercial van could go for a sub $50,000 and still sell well given the fact that it will be electric. The Cybertruck is built in a way where the exoskeleton could be created with just one sheet of steel. While I don't believe the design will be similar to the Cybertrucks, it will certainly be built in a way where the production cost will be lower to the maximum extent. Because Tesla will likely minimize the production cost of the exoskeleton, it's safe to say that the company will focus on maximizing the specs of the battery, similar to the Cybertruck. Given that the commercial van will be electric, the vehicle will certainly be more efficient than the existing commercial vans fueled on internal combustion engines. Although the initial cost may be expensive, the fact that the maintenance cost will be lowered by a large extent will allow Tesla's vehicles to look like a far better deal than the existing commercial vans. In the semi-truck unveil, Elon Musk explained how the maintenance costs will ultimately make the initial price cheap compared to diesel semi-trucks. So even though the semi-truck cost $180,000 for the longer range version, the fuel savings is more than the initial cost at $200,000, making the initial cost worth it. This will be similar to the commercial van, as Tesla will design it in a way where it'll be the best option from an economic standpoint. Having said all this, you're probably wondering, how much is this going to cost? Because Tesla stuff is expensive. Um, but we realize that trucking, the economics of trucking matter tremendously. If, if, you have a if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. So we really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, you take the lease cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all of the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla semi per mile. So. I want to be clear, this is from day one. So it, from day one, having a Tesla semi will beat a diesel truck on economics, day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is, the, this, is the, this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle gross. It's, it's going at 60 miles an hour. Um, and it's assuming $250 ga gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a seven cent kilowatt wholesale price. I want to be clear about that. This is real, these are real numbers. And it only gets better than this. This is a worst case scenario. Now if you look at the economics, of a truck convoy, it gets way better. Now a diesel truck is twice as expensive as a Tesla semi. This, so it's, what this means is it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail. We're, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a future standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks in a worst case scenario, and that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. Overall, it seems likely that Tesla will reveal a commercial van soon, and once this vehicle goes into production, it will certainly obliterate the sales of the existing internal combustion engines 
due to the fact that it will be the most cost efficient over the long term. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that I know you want to see more videos like this. I appreciate your support.